Crystal Perez, and I'm at the Nun premiere in Hollywood, California with Where's the Buzz. How was it playing Daniel? Um, it was actually not really scary. When you see all the makeup put together uh, step by step and everything, it's not that scary. It's actually pretty cool. I bet you it is with all the special effects and, you know, all that. Thing, yeah. Way different than Girl Meets World, huh? Way different. <laughs> it's just a sitcom into this crazy horror film rated R. Which is supposed to be PG-13, but it's too scarier than PG-13, so it's R. It's R. Now, I have a question for you. What is your advice for people like you who want to get into the film industry and young actors? Um, first, you gotta have potential. Potential's key. <laughs> yes, you gotta have practice, and then you gotta get a manager, and the manager, and, and the publicist, and uh, the agent, and all that stuff will uh, help you, and they'll book roles for you, and then you'll do it. And with the potential and the practice that you got, you are gonna put that onto the audition. And hopefully you get a callback, director session, and blah, blah, blah. But you know what's the most important part? What? Having fun. Yes. Definitely. Absolutely. If you, even if, even if it's in the scary movie, you have to have fun. 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 Well, I hope you have fun tonight. And it was great chatting with you. And I wish you the best. Thank you. Nice to meet you. So I just wanted to ask you. Right now, we're at such a powerful time with women being in film. And so, what is your advice to women who want to get into film, whether they want to be a director, a cinematographer, an actress? What is your advice to them? I think my advice to anybody that wants to do something is do it. You know, you, you can't wait for other people's permission to do what you love. And um, there was a wonderful special on, on uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg that's on CNN right now, who was, you know, one of the Supreme Court justices. This little teeny tiny woman, if you looked at her, you you know, people would probably put her in a senior home for, and this woman is sharp as, sharper than any tack you could possibly find. And, and when, and it really, it made me think about that. Like here was this little tiny person who was a genius and she just stays with it, stayed with what she, she wanted in life and is uh, is obviously had a fantastically successful life as well. But for young women, I think believe in yourself. I was very fortunate, even though I grew up a long time ago when it wasn't fashionable to be a you know <laughs> to be a, a, a woman's lip. Oh, you're very fashionable. <laughs> but I mean, but I realized my mom and dad. I never differentiated between men and women. That, I never differentiated that I was a woman so, or a girl, so I couldn't do something. And I was very, I'm very grateful for that because even sometimes today I go, what's the big deal? We're all in this together. You know, we're all, we're all human. We're all human. We've all got hearts. We've all got feelings. We've all got ambitions. We've all got talents. We've all got all these things. And I think it's important to kind of eradicate the, um, the bad buzz. Right. And just go forward. Go with what you love. And, and if people are rude or say no, move on. My dad used to say, put the fish back in the wagon and move on to the next house. <laughs> I love that. And so how do you deal with the bad vibes? What's your advice in that area? It's hard. It is hard because I have a lot of anger. I sometimes don't want to recognize because I don't like myself for having it. But I realize the anger is coming well, the anger is well deserved. In other words, there's a lot to be angry about. And I think that's the first step in change. So I think it's really important to acknowledge your own, your own um, opinion about what you think is happening and to not go with the flow. It, it's not about that. Really think about, like you're right, we're all human. How, it, to be kind to each other. How hard is that? And to be self-aware. Yes. Yeah, yes. So um, I guess my advice is follow your heart rather than the press. Yes. Yes. So and today with all that's going on with women who want to get into film, I just wanted to know what's your advice to young women who want to get into film? 
If you really want to do it, if you really, really want to do it, there's nothing that'll stop you. You'll just find a way and keep on going and keep on going. No matter the naysayers, just keep on going. Really, 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 from the bottom of your heart, from the deep in your soul, want to do something, you're going to find a way. I just wanted to know, what advice do you have to young filmmakers, uh, people that want to get into film, what advice do you have to, for them today in today's society in 2018? Well, I take a lot of inspiration from people I work with, like this, like James Wan. Um, he just does it. Just do it. You know, um, it's not, don't think it's not good enough. You have to get through the crap to make that one thing. So don't be afraid. Don't be a perfectionist. Perfectionism is for losers. Right. It doesn't exist. If you, if it's something you want to make and you want to watch, make it for yourself. 